So this really did hit the Glencore shares quite directly. As I understand it, though, this is merely a subpoena for documents. We don't know that Glencore did anything wrong or even will be pursued. Is that right, Mark? That's exactly right. Yeah, there is no uh, formal investigation yet. Um, but at this stage, I think what investors are reacting to, um, firstly, is the, uh, the, the clear indication uh, from the subpoena that uh, its issues with its African operations aren't going away. Um, there are, uh, uh, there's a, a unique exposure that it has to um, the DRC and uh, the fact that the DOJ is looking at its activities there is clearly uh, concerning investors today. But the second part of it, I think, as well, is that um, we know very little about uh, a potential investigation, but uh, there is uh, a, a, a notice that they'll be looking uh, potentially at uh, their operations in Venezuela uh, and in Nigeria as well. And I think that that raises the prospect that uh, regulatory scrutiny of uh, Glencore's uh, industrial operations could broaden out quite a lot further. So I think that's why we've seen such a severe move in the share price today. Well, take us through that, Mark, because you follow, follow this company closely. We knew there were issues in the Congo. Had we heard about issues in Nigeria and Venezuela with Glencore before? Um, so it's difficult to join the dots uh, with any certainty at this stage because we haven't had word uh, from the DOJ uh, or much indication from Glencore about what the nature of these uh, issues might be. But we do know that they've had uh, uh, legal issues in both countries relating to their oil business. Um, and so in, in Venezuela, there's a dispute uh, that was um, uh, um, that emerged last uh, in March um, relating to. Uh, um, uh, its dealings with PDVSA, the, uh, the state oil company there. Um, and then there are also uh, legacy legal issues um, concerning um, uh, a, 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 com a complaint made by someone who claims that uh, Glencore owes their money for uh, facilitating the release of, um, uh, right. uh, of, of, of kind of shipmates in, uh, in the country. Right. Yes. So just can you give us some flavour of how important say, these two countries are to the business, sure Mark? Can you give us a sense of how important these three countries are, how material they are to the bigger business here for Glencore? Because if we're talking about documents over a 10 to 11 year period, it's, um, it's a lot of documentation perhaps to go through. Yeah, 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 absolutely. Um, so first of all, the DRC is uh, is absolutely core to Glencore's business. As I say, it has a unique exposure there, and its key assets are cobalt and uh, copper mines in the country. Um, okay. They're a huge growth uh, business for Glencore, hugely yeah, important. Yeah, growth businesses. Okay.